Hey, I'm glad you made it. This is the OG from WBWC and Red Cabin Acoustic. If you're new here, welcome to the cabin. If you're an old friend, welcome back. I want to take a few moments to tell you about the AKG C3000. This is not a formal review, but please hang on. I am using the AKG C3000 to record this. I'll do a more comprehensive review soon. If you don't like the sound of the mic, please be advised that I'm in an untreated room on a porch with reflective surfaces, so just keep that in mind. I'm hoping that my adventures in microphone research, taken as a case study, may in fact help you to think about shopping for used or vintage microphones in a more informed way. So why the AKG C3000? Well, it has one of the most confusing histories, partly perpetuated by the choices of the manufacturer, and partly due to reviews and articles that may have been accurate when written or not, but have become less correct over time. Another problem, of course, is misleading information published by the company and the confusing name changes. Let me explain. I began my research on the AKG C3000 when I bought a silver one. Some refer to the color as champagne. It is in great condition, but I was unfamiliar with this iteration. Well, I consulted a popular audio gear website that you've probably heard of and asked if there was a difference between the original black version with the mint green stripe and the silver one with the red stripe. And well, I was greeted with insightful comments like, they both suck. It's sad that there are so many haters and trolls in the world, but solving that problem will have to wait for another day. I eventually found an article published around 2012 on silentway.com. The article begins. If you look into the AKG C3000 microphone, you'll find conflicting reports. How can it both be a great bang for your buck mic that sounds good and a cheap mic that might not be the right choice? How can this be? Because there have been four different versions of this mic. And then the article goes on to try to explain the four different types. Technically speaking, and I mean that literally, in terms of microphone technology, there have been two versions of the microphone. The original AKG C3000 was manufactured between 1993 and 1999. It was originally black with a mint green stripe, although some refer to it as dark gray. Sometimes late in the production run, a silver version was released with a red stripe. The AKG C1000S, C3000, and C4000B were marketed as a series. So the original AKG C3000 has a black and silver version. The easiest way to tell if you're looking at the original model and you happen to have it in hand is that they have three switches centered on the back of the microphone. These include a pattern switch, a polar pattern switch, cardioid or hypercardioid, a bass roll-off switch, and a 10 dB pad. The body shape of the original C3000 and the subsequent versions differ, but the difference is not readily obvious and hard to describe if you're not familiar with these microphones and cannot compare them directly. Again, I'll have some pictures. The bevel adjacent to the grill is much larger on the original model, and the grill is more flat when viewed from the side. Okay, the confusion really begins in 1999 when AKG releases a very similar microphone called the C3000B that was silver, the same color as the recently manufactured predecessor. For that reason, some folks didn't know that the original C3000 had a silver version and was not mentioned in any article that I was able to find. So the C3000B, the second version, was silver, was manufactured between 1999 and 2009, but only had one polar pattern, a cardioid polar pattern. It maintained a bass roll-off switch as well as a pad, but instead of being on the reverse of the microphones, the switches had been moved to the sides of the mic body. In one article I read, they contend that the B in the C3000B stands for the bass roll-off switch, which I doubt is true, because the original version, the C3000, also had a bass roll-off switch. I think, and I believe I found an article that said, that it stood for backplate electric, 
because that's the kind of capsule the C-3000V, the C-1000S, and the C-4000B contained. More confusion mounts as the next model was manufactured between 2009 and 2012. This is the same microphone as the C-3000B in terms of capsule design, specifications, and sonic characteristics. But they renamed it the AKG C-3000 and returned to the original color of black. But this time it had a gray stripe and the AKG logo is in a circle. A mistake in the marketing material for this model actually identifies the original C-3000 model as the AKG C-3000B, which it is not. The current version was released in 2012, model number C-3000, color black with a gray stripe, but the logo has been replaced by a black letter word mark of just the letters AKG in the same place the company logo was on all the other previous versions. Well, so why does this matter? Well, if you're shopping for used or vintage microphones, getting information can be challenging. As I said, I'll do a proper review of this microphone series soon. So if you are interested in buying used mics, do your research, read reviews, watch reviews, and borrow or rent one if you can. If you want notifications or want to share, you know what to do. Please comment below, or if you have a specific question, you can go to redcabinacoustic.com when you're finished on YouTube today and email me directly there. Or go out and make some noise and record it. Peace.